Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. I'm here to talk just a moment about the I'm killing myself for my own sake malware and the I'm killing you for your own sake malware <laughs> and I'm killing myself for your own sake malware so there's three separate things. Okay, first I'm killing myself for my own sake. This happens when we're addicted. Addicted to something that's potentially eventually lethal, such as alcoholism, or recreational drug use, or um, eating too much chocolate, things like that. And so, so what the subconscious mind, the work is with the subconscious mind, with the gut brain and so forth. What it's thinking is uh, that if I, if I do this habit, then I'll feel better, I'll be happy. And the result is, eventual result is poor health and death, right? So, so it becomes established like a precept uh, in the subconscious mind that I'm killing myself so that I'll feel better. That's the first one. The second one is, hi, I'll kill you so that, so that you'll feel better. All right. It's an easy step for people who have a deadly habit as an addiction to move to that scenario with regard to their treatment of other people. All right. See, so they already have the assumption that that I'm killing myself for my own good, and they just move into that, and in sometimes in a paternal or maternal way, or in a brotherly sisterly way, or sisterly brotherly you know, sibling way, they move into this notion that they'll do something for someone else that will kill them and that that, that will be good for them. Okay. When in fact the, the like subagenda in the subconscious mind is that they are killing that person because it's good for them personally. But that's an unacceptable conclusion because because the agenda, the uh, the conscious agenda is that they are doing something that will kill somebody, maybe even hiring a killer or hiring a bunch of people to end that person's life or doing it themselves, you know. Whatever the way, the mode of killing is, the notion behind it is that, the, that they are doing it for that person's own good. And the reason for that notion is the original um, habit, deadly habit malware. <laughs> so there's one other thing right now and that has to do with I'm killing myself for your own good, right? This is a martyr complex that they talk about in psychology and psychiatry. Um, and it happens a lot with, in instances of codependency, in instances where one person has a deadly habit and then somebody else loves them and, and supports them and tries to lift them up and make them feel good and has sympathy for them despite the fact that they have this deadly habit. And this, this, this codependent behavior that the second person has um, is intended for their own good and is injurious to the physical and emotional and mental health of the codependent individual. It's also true in the Christian tradition <clears throat> that people who are spiritual have a tendency to, to overdo uh, service to others. That happens too in the meditation ashrams around that might be Hindu or whatever. Um, people fall hand over foot, how do you say it, head over foot into, into the tradition of selfless service and they fail to take into consideration their own needs and wants and the joy of spirit that they need in order to uh, perform selfless service in a way that's of benefit to humankind truly. So, uh, you know, in the psych psychological texts, they say um, to, to look to the benefit of other people, but also to our own benefit, to look to the joy of humankind, but also to our, the joy of our own soul. 
to balance those two needs, the needs of others and the needs of ourselves, in order to live a fruitful, happy, and well-balanced life.